Hey, welcome again. So in this video, we will be talking about cookies. Yes. So we'll be talking about cookies. So let's first understand what actually are cookies. So if you uh, imagine uh, that you are uh, using a website, right, and uh, you are in a ticket booking website, or you are in a hotel booking website, or you are in an online shopping or e-commerce website. Right. So uh, what you do is you go over there, you search for different products, so you search for different hotels, you book a hotel, you search for a particular location and then you close that website, you do your work and then you come back uh, after some time. And when you open that website, you see that all your search information, all those uh, tabs that you visited, right, they are already showing in your website. Right. So basically the previous information that you access on that particular website is is again showing to you in that particular website right so this is what cookies are so what are cookies basically cookies will store all your search information whatever you will do in a website whatever you will uh, basically perform in a particular website right those uh, information will be stored in small set of files and that but and your browser will store those cookies for you for that particular website so that when at a later stage of time you open those website you will again see those information and those informations will pop up right so uh, you may have experienced this, uh, right? So uh, whenever you have purchased uh, any electronic gadgets, right? So you purchase one electronic gadget of a specific brand and now that gadget is delivered to you. But now when you open the Amazon or whatever e-commerce application you use again, so you will see that recommended items for you. And in those recommended items, you will see again many electronic gadgets from that same brand, right? So this is basically... Uh, uh, what cookies are used for, right? So they use, they basically store your information over there, right? So they are very small files, but they are very, very useful, right? To make uh, a user experience smooth, right? So this is how cookies works. So basically, if you go into Postman, right? You will see one small option over here that says cookies, right? So let's open this. So now basically we don't have any cookie over here, but why cookies are important and why Postman gives us uh, basically this tab of cookies separately, right? So if we talk about HTTP, right? If we talk about HTTP, so whenever we are actually uh, putting any request, right? Whenever we are actually uh, basically hitting any request, right? So uh, sending any request basically. So basically in HTTP, nothing is stateful, right? Everything is stateless. So if you see that, I, if I uh, hit this particular request once, so this particular request has been sent and it is done, right? So if we go back to our app, uh, application, so you see we have two routes over here. We have this movies route, we have this songs route, but they do not have any uh, connection between them, right? So if we hit this particular link, if we hit this particular name link, so we'll get the particular output that we want and that is it's done, right? So it is not storing anything for us, but when we are using cookies, we can actually store some data. We can actually store some information, right? So let's see how we can store that. So let's go back to Postman and inside this cookie section will be now working, right? So let's see how we can work with cookies in Express. All right, so here we are, right? So now let's understand that how you can actually create a cookie, right? How cookies are created. So if you see that this is particular, our, uh, this is the file of our movies route, right? So uh, here we have all the requests get, uh, to get the request one post request and all that now what i will do is uh, basically in uh, the uh, home page uh, request that is basically the movies route what i will do i will just uh, use one thing that is request dot cookie method right so i'll just use request dot cookie and to this request dot cookie what i will do is i'll just pass visited right i'll just pass visited so this is basically cookie all right, so request.cookie visited, visited, and then I'll just pass true over here, right? So now let's just check that if we are able to save one cookie over here or not. Okay, so this will be response.cookie, right? Yeah, response.cookie because we're sending uh, the cookie as a response, right? So response.cookie and inside this cookie, we'll just say visited, right? So visited is a property and we'll set this to true right and now let's go back to postman and let's hit this movies uh, 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 call right so let's send this request so we'll send this request and we are getting uh, all the movies again and now let's check this cookie section so 
Inside this cookie section, now you see there is one cookie that has been saved which says visited. And if I open this, you will see that visited is equal to true. So this is a particular file, right? This is a file which actually stores information about uh, whether a user has visited this particular link once or not right not only this we can also set time right so let me just uh, show you that how you can set time to your cookie so let me just go back over here and right so basically now if you want uh, to basically uh, you want your cookie to expire after a certain period of time so what you can do is you can also pass many properties inside this right so one such property is max age so basically max age is the maximum age of your cookie right so i'll just pass 10000 over here right so 10000 is basically this value is basically in uh, milliseconds right so 10000 milliseconds basically means 10 seconds right so uh, it will last for 10 seconds right so now let me just go back to postman let me hit uh, this uh, call again so let me send this and now i'm receiving all of this uh, data again let me go into cookies so we have one cookie and now you see that uh, this particular uh, cookie will expire on Sunday, 4th December, and this is uh, the particular time. This is 2 o'clock at uh, GMT, right? So uh, now, if I close this, right, and I, uh, I guess 10 seconds have been over. So now if I go back to cookies, so now you see, now you don't have any cookie, right? So basically, you can also set a particular time for your cookie, right? So uh, if you want your cookie to uh, stay on the website, for a particular period of time, you can do that. And after that, it will be automatically erased, right? So this is uh, what you can do with your cookie. And right, so as you saw, you can create cookies, but what if you want to access cookies, right? What if you want to pass your cookies, right? So there is uh, one particular method that you can use. So uh, basically uh, not in this particular route because this route will create a cookie, right? So whenever you will try to use, as I was saying that, no HTTP request or no HTTP uh, Basically, no HTTP requests are interconnected to each other, but we can actually see that if cookies exist or not, right? So if we see that we have created this cookie over here, right? So I'll just increase this time so that we can get some more time over here, right? So I'll just increase this to, uh, uh, this is basically uh, 1 lakh millisecond, right? All right, so let's just see that uh, how we can uh, basically access cookies. So what I will do, I will just go over here to the to another request, right? So this is a different request. And inside this request, what I will do, I'll just say console.log. And I want to access cookies over here right now. So uh, the method uh, by which we can access this is basically we have our request and then we can basically use our headers and now we can access the cookie so this particular console.log will show us that if any cookie exists there or not right so this is a cookie that will get created so let's go back to postman so what i will do i'll just hit this uh, movies route once again so i'll just send request and we are getting the route i'll go to cookies and i can see that one cookie exists over here right and now quickly what i will do i'll quickly hit another route right basically that name route so i'll just pass transformers over here and i'll send this again so now I'm getting the transformer. So basically I'm hitting another route, but if I go to my console right now, right? And I see my console that what my server has returned me. So now you see that it has also returned visited equal to true. That means there is a cookie that the user has already visited. So user is actually on this website for a long time and he's doing other stuff, right? So what is basically the application of this is? So basically whenever you are hitting another route, whenever you are hitting another route, so these cookies are actually used to track that whether you are you are already on this website or not. So you may have seen those pop-ups, right? You may have seen whenever you uh, enter any website for the first time, you see a pop-up that uh, if you're visiting an e-commerce website, you will see a sales sale pop-up, right? So there is Diwali sale, there is festival sale or something like that. But it goes away, right? And then late, later at the day, whenever you visit that website again, it does not show you that pop-up because obviously that pop-up has been shown to you before, right? So they do not want to uh, disturb your user experience over there because they have already sh uh, shown you that, right? So that is basically uh, managed by using cookie. So uh, they will manage that with using a cookie. They will show you a pop-up and then they will say that, okay, this was a cookie and this will expire after 24 hours, right? So after one day, again, when you visit the web website, that uh, uh, pop-up will again uh, come to you, right? So this is how cookies are managed, right? So uh, this is how basically you can pass your cookies. So there is one package also uh, in Node uh, that is cookie parser. 
so uh, you can use all that also to pass your cookies so yeah we can talk about that uh, in another video right so for this video this is it so i hope you understood what are cookies and how can you manage and create your cookies right thank you for watching this video do like this video subscribe to our channel and share this video with your peers thank you thank you so much for watching this video we'll see you on the next video